Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Rigorous Crane, who says the angry miner. Is he is he talking about the angry miners in my in my comment section? Get it? Miner? Uh, young people? Okay. Uh, stupid joke, obviously he's talking about somebody in a mineshaft, a dwarven miner, a minecraft miner, whatever you, whatever you want. He says, use a pickaxe, cause we're a miner obviously, a number three revolver and dynamite only. So not using my primary this time around. You have to wear the gas mask the whole time. These damn fools are ruining your minds. Get revenge. All right, now I don't know why this comment had so many freaking up votes, but I've seen it for a couple of weeks and people have just really want to see the angry miner themed loadout. It's bringing no tactical advantage to the battlefield considering we're not using our primary weapon intentionally. What it's going to do is it's going to force me to rely on the number three revolver, which can be a tricky pistol to use as it has no long range capabilities really. And then we're going to have dynamite for dealing some serious damage and a pickaxe for those desperation kills. Now, since we're using the number three as our primary weapon, we may as well understand this gun is as best as we possibly can. The thing that really aggravates me about the damage model in Battlefield is that even though this gun should be a two shot kill in close quarters, Every now and then I'll get a three shot kill because maybe the guy's forearm blocked my shot and it does reduce damage because of that. So uh, it can have those aggravating three shot kills even in close quarters. The gun does 53 damage maximum for that two shot kill. The headshot multiplier in Battlefield 1 is not high enough for that to count as a one shot headshot though. So don't really aim for the headshot with this gun unless you think uh, it will result in a one shot kill like your opponent's got a little bit of damage to them, then it might be worthwhile. Otherwise, you may as well just aim for center mass. The muzzle velocity is incredibly slow at 210 meters per second. It's one of the slowest traveling bullets in the entire game. So if you see a moving target, even at medium range, you might have to lead your shot. It's that bad of a muzzle velocity. I mean, this thing's shooting like a BB gun practically. So a uh, difficult weapon to use at range. You never want to use it at range really, but uh, sometimes you'll be forced to in this specific loadout because it's the only weapon you have available. So um, you don't really have any other option. Rather than using this as a backup in close quarters when your primary runs out of ammo, uh, you are instead forced to use it at all ranges. Now I put a nice silver camo on here to give it a little bit of extra flair. I think the silver camos in this game are some of the more elegant weapon skins. They're not too gaudy like some of the golden weapon skins, although those can be fun for showing off. And I do kind of feel like I'm in the Wild West. Now I did stop using the gas mask at a certain point because uh, shooting this weapon only from the hip gets really annoying. In close quarters, it's totally manageable. You can just purely hip fire this weapon all day long, but I needed a little bit more precision and the gas mask thing was just driving me crazy. Also not being able to hear. And I was sneaking up behind that guy with dynamite is just too freaking fun. I was getting a de decent amount of dynamite kills, mostly because I had to rely on the dynamite. It's not generally my play style, but when I don't have a lot of firepower as I didn't with the handgun, then I was able to get some pretty cheeky kills with it. Now, surprisingly, this round of TDM allowed me to really close the distance on my opponents. I was gonna play some conquest or some operations, but just being stuck at some of the longer range engagements was no fun with this class. It was a lot of me trying to charge down trenches and getting sniped or killed at long range as I have zero long range options. So I decided to opt for TDM and ended up faring much better there, uh, often topping my team on the scoreboard, um, even though I'm not really running with much of an advantage here, as long as you play intelligently, close the distance, the number three actually has pretty good damage per second in close quarters. So if you're a decent enough shot, you can certainly make use of it. All right, now I'm getting a nice little back flank on this team here, coming in behind and taking out their snipers who have been harassing us and almost almost managed to get a double C4 kill here at the end if it wasn't for this one guy. As far as the pickaxe goes for a melee weapon, I think it does some damage to vehicles, which is probably one of the least useful melee weapon attributes that you can have. I like the hatchet because I can actually use it to break down barbed wire, which does come in handy at times. Even though barbed wire doesn't do a huge amount of damage, it will stop you from healing up if you hit it. So uh, chopping it down before you jump over it or using it as a shortcut 
is a nice little feature to have in considering that it has the same damage model as the pickaxe. That's why I generally use it. The funny thing about the pickaxe being able to do damage to vehicles is that if you actually pickaxe down a vehicle and it explodes, it'll kill you while you damage it down. So it's, it's sort of like a suicidal feature for a melee weapon. Just kind of comical, almost no point in having it. Now, generally speaking, I try and pick loadouts that are a little bit more tactical or maybe historically themed just because they're a little bit more interesting and the loadouts themselves um, aren't gimped by not having a primary weapon. So I probably won't be doing too many more loadouts like this minor one here. There was just so many freaking upvotes. They've been asking for it for so long that I decided to do it. But uh, let's try and keep it back on track with something more tactically oriented and see if we can get some cool loadouts or some things that work really well in specific situations. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.